Hey guys, it's another day, and we're still at home, so... Hi, we're doing Alex's makeup again. Look at his clean face. Look at it, look at my clean face. Yay! So, I think I'm going to use one thing different than yesterday so far. I'm going to start out with this AOA Studio Perfect Blush. It's like bright red. And I already put, actually I didn't show you this yesterday, but I already put this e.l.f. ELF Poreless Putty Primer on its face just to help the makeup stick better. But, and I've got my Shop Masse High Def Brush F8 that I think I was also using yesterday. But, I'm gonna use this red. I'm gonna use this red all over his face. I'm gonna do that thing where I paint, paint his cheek. But this time, I'm gonna try and make it like less cute and maybe like a little bit more scary. So, I'm going to go hard with this red blush. I totally picked this blush because it was red. I did not pick it with any practical intentions. So, I'm not sure who would wear this color as a blush, but I think they're probably a badass. We already cleaned the house today. Cause, yeah, why not? Super cute! It's so bright. This blush would probably also make like a really good eyeshadow if you wanted red eyeshadow that was matte. When I first got it, I complained about about how like small the container was, but since I haven't been putting like big old swoopy blush brushes in it, it hasn't like really mattered. Cause like you can't really blend it out; it's bright red. Whose skin does this blend out into? Maybe like if you had a really bad sunburn. And you're like, well, I need blush, even though my face is burned red. But, like, I need a blush that's redder than my burnt face. Oh, no, what will I do? You could use this blush, because it would definitely be redder than even the most powerful sunburn. So, if you need to get a, like, super glam, bit of rosy look on top of your sunburn, maybe this is the blush for you. Or if you're trying to, like, look like you got smacked, also a good blush. But yeah, I'm not really sure if it has any normal application, but perfect blush for me. Just go right up to your eyeballs. Up to your eyeballs and blush. I really like this brush because it's like big but also flat so you can cover a lot of area, but still get into the tight little corners. Yeah, it's gonna be kinda cute. It's gonna be like a little strawberry. Cute little happy strawberry. Demonic strawberry. Mm -hmm. Very nice. That might be enough red, I think, maybe. Oops, sorry guys, I hit the camera, so now you're bouncing around. It's not an earthquake, don't worry. That's not why we're all home. Hmm, next, next. Next we're gonna go with... Oh dang, I keep hitting you guys. Does that make you feel nauseous? Is that scary when the whole screen shakes like that? Next I'm going to use this dark red ColourPop Super Shack Shadow that I used yesterday because it's such a pretty color. But I need a different brush. Um, I'm going to use another Shop Miss A brush. This one. The E111. 
Poor guy. He can get through his hole. Look, he's been digging a lot. I'm gonna have to check on him when I'm done doing Alex's makeup. Look, he's trying to dig to China. Or at the very least, just dig a hole in his house so he can escape and find more snacks. Or eat the woodchuck. Or eat the woodchuck. Or eat the robins, really. Loki's got plans. Just gonna color this whole eyelid in. Yeah. I love how bright these eyeshadows are. As you can tell, we're already getting bored. But such is life. I'm not even sure what day we're on because I've still kind of been going to work when no one's here. Or no one's there at work. Here, there. Work in my house kind of feel like the same place to me. And they're really the only places I go anyway, so... This dark red, it blends in so nice with this bright red. So much red. That's actually one of my favorite colors for makeup because it's very dramatic and it's very unnatural, but it's still semi-natural for flesh, so it's you can be very dramatic and kind of creepy without looking like confusingly unnatural. Like blue, I think, is a very unnatural color in a way. I'm not sure why. I guess red is more naturally occurring on humans than blue. Even if you do have blue, it's a smaller amount. Isn't blue the hardest color to invent? I don't know. Because cobalt is a rock and it's easy to get and it turns things very blue very fast. So, I don't know. Lots of red. Glowing. Okay. Now we've got our nice glowing red base. I think I'm going to grab the sparkly blue jelly eyeshadow from yesterday and this squared off pointy brush. All my brushes are from Shop Miss A, so I'm just going to start repeating that now. I think I'm going to try and paint a different shape on than yesterday. I keep picking this stuff up off the lid instead of the jar because it's like easier to get a nice amount on the brush because you can kind of like Spread it out like that. Let's see. Let's see what shape we're going to paint today. I'm going to try and do something like that shape. See if I can like dab a straight line on with a straight brush. It's kind of hard because I don't want to do too much wiping because like you don't want to move the eyeshadow underneath it. But like you don't want to get like the the eyeshadow all the way up the brush because then you have no you can't make a tight line I don't know I guess that's not really makeup stuff that's just how you brush probably has that same struggle with paint sparkly face paint that's all makeup is anyway just a little bit of glorified face paint It's like sleepy lines under your eyes were painted with sparkles. Hmm. Oh no, that line's fatter. That's okay though, my makeup is never symmetrical. I try to think think of makeup in like you know, the idea that your eye makeup should be like sisters but not twins. Because otherwise you'll never get out of the house because you'll be spending all damn day trying to make your makeup symmetrical. 
If you're lucky, though, your eye makeup will look like twins. But I wouldn't plan on it. It's kind of like having twins. You can't plan on that. You can't just decide to have twins. You can't just decide to have matching symmetrical eye makeup. It's crazy. Sweet Thor is in here to keep us company today. He's up on top of his cat tower way up there in the corner where you can't see him. He's so cute though. He's happy that we're all home. He's been having a lot of fun like just sitting on my lap. Cats are simple creatures. Business as usual for the cats. Gotta do the little nose bump. So yeah, sleep sparkly. I'm just going to put some nice lipstick on there and we're going to call that a look. Better close my eyeshadow. Always close the gooey eyeshadow. I don't want it to dry out prematurely because that would be sad because I really like it. And my goal is to use the whole thing before it dries up so I don't have to feel bad about buying it. And let's see what lipstick we have we should get something maybe a shiny red we haven't used that yet wet and wild liquid cat suit it's like the same as other styles of lipstick we're using this one's just shiny and purple red i guess These metallic ones, sometimes I feel like you have to put more on because they're kind of like, I don't know, I feel like they have like a little bit of a drier texture. Like all the matte lipstick have a drier texture, but sometimes they're like liquidy at first and then they get dry, but this one's kind of dry at first and then it dries even more. I don't know, maybe it's like whatever makes it sparkly or something. Maybe it's just old. Look at me looking for science reasons as to why my old lipstick doesn't be liquidy like it used to be. Probably gonna have to use my lip wand and tricks again. Cause I can't draw straight lines with the lipstick, so. Yeah, so I don't have more to talk about, guys. It's just that there really isn't shit to do anymore. Except describe that I'm eating a lot of pasta and cleaning my house. And just trying not to think about what's going to happen at the end of all this. Because I already don't have no money. So I feel like I'm going to have even less money. And that makes me sad. But ramen noodles are my favorite food, so that's cool. Let's see. Smudge your lips just a little. Um, draw around the edges and you'll be beautiful. Try not to get so out of hand today. Keep it so fresh to create it. I don't know 
why lipstick takes so long. I feel like it looks effortless all the time, but then when you go to do it, it's always the biggest pain in the butt. I tend to be more of a lip gloss girl myself. Just because when I put it on, I can smear it around and be like, yeah, it's gloss. It's Camera stopped recording, but I was just finishing the lipstick, so here's our finished look. It's so cute. We see, we see. See the sparkles? See all the red. It's pretty simple, but since we filled like. Anywho, my phone keeps crapping out on me, so I'll drop in some pictures. If you like it, please like and subscribe, because I'll be sure. I'm sure I'll be posting a lot more since we're home all the time, we're bored, you know, so. Uh, also taking suggestions for like other video guys, videos you guys would like to see. I can't talk right anymore, so I'm just gonna go. Hope you guys have a good day.